Here we are again in the caravan classroom. The subject this week is braking. Wouldn't it have been a shame to have been a cart horse going down a hill with a cart on the back? It used to gallop along and catch up with a good old horse that was galloping too, and it would hit him in the back legs. The self same thing happens with a car and a caravan, at least of the old type. Going down a hill, it would run forwards and tend to bump into the car, and that would be tough on its brakes. So somebody invented something called an overrun system. And when a caravan does go down a hill, it does get closer to the car, but the actual coupling telescopes. It applies the brakes to the caravan, and all is well. Now that's very, very interesting, but there is an issue here, because the idea of it closing close to the car and starting braking is repeated when you reverse your caravan. As the car pushes here, it telescopes the section here, this assembly, and the brakes come on. So how do you proceed? Well, the funny thing is, you probably reversed the caravan many times and you haven't actually noticed that the brakes come on. In front of me, I've got a modern caravan brake. I've got one or two little pieces which are separate, like the brake shoe and the magic device, which on here I've called the brake release lever. How, is it, how does it all operate? Well, here's the main assembly. On the back, this is where the cable fits, and when the cable pulls, this expands, and the brake shoes push outwards onto the brake drum. When you reverse, that's what happens, but it's very, very brief. Because of an item here, which is called the brake release lever. Now you can't really see it very well, so I've actually got one separated out, and it's here. And the point about it is, it fits against one of the brake shoes. And it has a system whereby it pivots. What happens when you reverse is, this incredible arrangement notices that the wheel is actually turning the other way round, because you're going backwards. And as the wheel turns round, this rocks. Only a small amount, but enough to take the shoe that it presses against, withdraw away from the brake drum. The whole assembly readjusts, the brakes are off, and you reverse and you didn't even notice that that was taking place. What happens though when you go back to toe forwards? Be no good if the brakes are disabled. Ah, well this little piece here has a spring. And when you return to a forward direction, that simply pulls this back so it seats in its normal braking position. Well, that is clever, but naturally it's only going to operate effectively if you have your brakes serviced.